Here's the van. I'll try to get as much as I can, but there's not a big enough parking space to uh, walk all the way around things. But I will open the back doors. So what you're seeing back here are the porta potty, the little hibachi grill, this bench with the cushion, and then the other bench. Those uh, expand the size of the bed, so the other cushion is right there. And the back of the seat, as you can see, is torn, but uh, you could either replace that material or just bring that back down and tie it to that metal piece there. <clears throat> So that's what she looks like from the side. Now that you know where the bed is, you can see those two windows are actually over the bed. I'm gonna go up to the other doors here and I'll open up the other inside part. So that's the inside. And what you see here are the AC and heat. Uh, that plugs in there and then goes around and plugs into the uh, power outlets over there. This top cap. So this cabinet has the microwave right here. The microwave works fine. There's a refrigerator here. It runs on AC, DC, and LP. I know it works on AC because I had it on level ground when I tested that and I can run it. But I haven't been able to test it completely on LP because uh, it's on unlevel ground and that can damage them. But I do know when I fire it up on LP that I get heat out the vent in the back. There's also a cutting board here and a additional place to put in the uh, table. So the table is right here and it sits where you can... Uh, you can sit on the bench and eat. And then there's, in these four holes, there is a additional captain's seat that sits here. This captain's seat swivels and you can eat at this table as well. So I'm gonna take the table out and this cabinet is just storage. And there's a water container here and if you uh, use the water container, it feeds the pump for the sink. There's also a drawer here to put things in. And as you can see, everything kind of has a little uh, twist lock for it. So, so it stays locked when it's in place. Um, there's a spot here to put the table as well. So you just pull the plug and the table will fit there. To lower the seats, there's a lever over here on the side and you just lift it up and then the seat will lay, black, lay back. As I said, those, uh, those platforms will then roll out here and sit in front so this whole area essentially from this door back becomes a bed it's 68 by 72 when it's uh, lying flat like this with the extensions on it what you don't see in the van right now are curtains there's curtains that go along the sides they fit into these tracks but i currently have those taken out because i washed them in the washing machine um, up in the front here, there is a switch panel above the mirror area where you can switch on the lights. 
So number one is the front light. Number two is the next light back. Number three is all the way in the back. And number four lights up the side lights. So you have decent lighting and all of that runs off the chassis battery. Behind the driver's seat here is the inverter. The one that's in here is bad. It will need to be replaced. That is roughly $100 on Amazon. So here is all of the original paperwork that came with the van. So all of that is here. And then there is also a cover for the uh, AC on the roof. Um, I'm going to walk around now and we'll start it up so you can see that it does uh, run fine. As you can see, everything runs the way it should. I don't know if you'll be able to see the exhaust here, but there's a little bit of exhaust coming out. It's not blowing any smoke or anything. Um, under the hood. So this is under the hood, um, brand new chassis battery, there's a little bit of a thing over here on the side that actually controls the charge for the second battery which is over here. This battery will need replaced but this is the house battery and the house battery will run things off the inverter. Over here on this side underneath is where the uh, LP tank is. So up here you can see the vent for the refrigerator. And when I go underneath here, you should be able to see the LP tank. So it has a built-in tank and everything should run fine off of that. There is LP in there, so I have tested it. The oil pressure, the charge, and the temperature all work fine. The uh, fuel gauge, I do not know because I don't have enough gas in it to tell. The uh, light you see here is a check engine light. It comes on typically after it's run for just a little bit. Sometimes revving it'll shut it off. I'm sure it's just uh, because it's been sitting for a while. It has intermittent wiping and that all works fine. And then it has uh, a low speed and a high speed. Electric windows work. Electric locks work. One other thing that uh, I mentioned in the ad and I'll show you is the uh, security under the seats. So under each seat is a little storage bin and uh, they have a key that goes in them to open them. Sure. And so you get storage underneath there. And uh, it's just a little extra security. Um, people ask about rust. This is the typical kind of rust this has. You can see just a little bit here. It's all surface rust, nothing that goes through anywhere. There's also a little bit here by the door. And this is, again, typical on most of the doors. They have just that little bit that can be uh, brushed off and repainted. Um, I also mentioned uh, that in pressure washing, I did some damage to the paint. One spot is back here where you can see where I pressure washed and it came down to the uh, primer coat. Um, inside, there are 
no real issues that I'm aware of. You can hear when you slam the door that it sounds uh, solid. Oh, I should also show you where the uh, shore power connects. Um, when you're camping, the shore power connects right here. And uh, then you could plug this uh, into this location here to uh, have more outlets. This one here runs to the AC. So if you plug in shore power there, it's going to uh, run the AC. And I think that may have been hardwired originally, but uh, you can do whatever you like with that. Inside the cabinet with the microwave, there are two breakers that turn things on and off. This is the extra stuff that comes with it. So we've got a 100-foot power cord, jumper cables, uh, chemicals for the uh, porta potty a vacuum, a hot plate, uh, some additional lighting stuff, a couple of extra cushions, some extra materials, some extra carpet that all matches what is in there. Um, they got all of that when they bought the van because uh, they made the extra cushions. Also negotiable with the van is this old home light generator. It's a 1700 watt, which is enough to run the AC on the van.